Hey Collective, it's chatting with you and I'm back with another video. What's good y'all? So, damn, I don't have my freaking lighter. Alright, it's fine. Hold on. Y'all bitches walking around with a bunch of burnt out ass lighters. So that's kind of blowing my Somebody could be feeling burnt out. Or just feeling like, you know, you need to get that um, spark back. I'm hearing be mindful of your thoughts, okay? Like, don't let... Don't let outside energies make you feel some type of way about yourself or about whatever it is that you got going on. I'm hearing like conflicting energies. Okay, so you can need to, you know, up your protection at this time. Be mindful of your space. Like maybe you need to burn some sage or something. Just be like cleanse your energy. Maybe, you know, take a spiritual bath with some Epsom salt, some Florida water, something like cleanse out your space because I'm getting like it's conflicting energies. Somebody could also be in the energy of always feeling like they have to defend their name or their character, you know, or, or it could be something coming up where you got to defend yourself and like let people know like this is not the type of person you are. I get like somebody may be tired of doing that at the same time, okay, trying to prove who you are or who, like, you know, like, like, ah, I don't want to like. It's like, it's not that you're trying to prove yourself to somebody. Okay, you could be tired of trying to prove yourself to somebody and you like, you know what, fuck it. However you see me or however you view me, it is what it is because you know who you are as a person. Okay, so that could be the conflicted energies. Like a party you could, you know, want to, you know, defend who you are. and But at the same time, you like, fuck it. Like, however you see me or however you view me, I know who I am. So that's just, it is what it is. Okay, so that could be the energy. But definitely cleanse your space in your aura because I'm also getting that people could be wanting to project certain energies onto you and have you look a certain type of way, you know, to others or to yourself, you know, but just so just be mindful. Okay, well, let's see what's going on. I mean, listen to your intuition at this time. Like, whoever you are, I feel like you're radiating so high and it's just like, don't, because I'm hearing take two steps forwards to get not four steps back. It's like, don't, don't let nobody throw you off your game. Okay. Not, 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 not with opinions. Okay. Don't let nobody throw you off your game with opinions. Period. Yo, then I say, save your fucking home. Save your home. You could be a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio. But it's like, it's something going on, you know, behind the scenes in the ethers. It's something going on. And that's why you're feeling that energy. Okay? So, let's see. What do my collective need to see? Okay, so you have, I let go of any fear... I let go of any illusions, fear, or mental conflict. And I stand my ground against and any energy against me. Okay? Yeah, it's like... If somebody want, it's like, whatever people are trying to project onto you, you know you are none of these things, okay? People could even be trying to project illusions, have, like I said, have you looking a certain type of way or feeling a certain type of way and you wondering, like, why this is not my energy, this is not how I'm feeling. You know, having you in mental conflict is like, release that. Like, at this time, you could know that and need to stand your ground against this energy, you know, that's what I'm telling you now. Sage your home, you know, take a spiritual bath because it's heavy. Okay, you have I release any past hurt, I am healed, and you have the real one. Yeah, I feel like somebody somebody wants you to doubt who you are. 
I feel like whoever you are, you keep it all the way a stack. So for somebody to try to downplay is what I'm hearing who you are as a person or you know just your character in general it's like you still standing ten toes on who you are like you're not letting anything people could be wanting to bring up your past you know and it's like if, if somebody can't see you who for who you are now they, they and they still worried about your past they not for you it's really that simple like I don't know if I could put this in simpler form like people grow, change, and elevate. If they are showing, if they're not showing up as that energy, past energy, why, why project that unto them? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never understand that. You know, and I'm not saying you gotta deal with somebody. You know what I'm saying? But it's like people be so caught up on a person's past that they don't see past. The, they don't see. They don't see, you know, who they are now. You know what I'm saying? You could be looking a person dead in their fucking face. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying this, for example, like a whole nurse scrub on. Somebody going to still bring up the fact that, you know, you was a teen mom. Or, you know, that you had a criminal background. And it's like. I'm hearing that it didn't make me who I am. It shaped me to become who I am today. And I feel like people need to, you know, learn that. We all got a fucking past. I'm not saying, you know, some people past to be brighter than others. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody was, everybody ain't always into everything. I'm gonna just put it like that. So, yeah, you're gonna have some people who don't really have a fucked up past or, you know, they life wasn't in shambles and they had, it's like, you know, but other people went through... It's, it's like, everybody's journey is different. But I don't feel like that's anybody's place to judge. Okay, so you have my finances are growing rapidly in abundance. I feel like whoever you are... Like, your main goal is... is it, Your main focus right now is just creating the stability that you want. You know, whether it be with, you know, just you or you intend to have... You know, new energies, new friends, new lover, whatever coming in. I feel like your main focus right now is you and filling up your own cups and making sure that you have whatever you need to to get to get to where you're trying to go. Yeah, I clear my space often to keep evil away. I'm telling you, somebody trying to send negative energy away, conflicting energies. I'm telling you, I feel that shit. I feel it strong. It's like cleanse your space, cleanse your aura. Don't allow that shit to stop you. Real shit, cause it's like <laughs> people gonna come, people gonna come all shapes, ways, and forms. They gonna try that, and it, it's, it's they, like people gonna try it, but like don't let it, don't let it, for real. I not usually do this at the end, but I'm being guided to get these cards. Let's see what else my collective need to see. All right. I'm going to take them all. So you got abundance. No, that is too many. That's like six cards. But I've seen abundance, love, envy, and trust. So, okay, service. I feel good when I can help others. Yeah, focus on service right now. I feel like it's a lot of shit going on. I feel like it's a lot of envy, you know, for what's coming in. And this is why these energies are being thrown at you. People are going to try to throw energy away. Um around your career, around your love life, around people, around friends. Like, I feel like you have so much good coming your way. You may even feel a little awkward with like, or, you know, this conflicted energy with new people that's coming into your life. But this is because you have shit from your past that don't like that you healed that shit. You know, people are envious of what you got coming in but i feel like you just focused on service right now you like you know we're gonna put that shit on the back burner i'm hearing like what's meant to be is gonna be but at the same time you know protect yourself protect yourself from that fuck energy that fuck shit word up like i don't like that shit i'm telling you happiness oh this is not even happiness this is gratitude y'all know that card green too but gratitude i'm thankful for the life for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, just show more gratitude for what it is that you do have. Okay, denial. I 
I acknowledge my fear, but replace it with insight and of awareness. Yeah, it's like, don't be in denial of this energy, okay? Don't ignore it or like, you know, let it, let it, you know, cipher. Like, no, clear that shit out immediately, okay? It's like, somebody wants you to fear something or fear like that you won't receive what's destined for you to have for what's destined for you to have you know what i'm saying or because you may not understand it on the 3d it's like somebody wants you to like i'm here a fear of the unknown but it's like just know that be aware of what it is that's going on around you i feel like whoever you are you can feel this shit and this is why it's like you're standing your it's like i stand my ground again any energy against me it's like you already be feeling that shit coming so you be like nipping it in the bud from jump like oh no like once you like like that sage yeah let's go we ain't even about to do that because you already know okay you already know how people finna come like i'm here up your protection for real love yeah this could be in your love life too i come into seeing the practice I commit to see the practice of seeing the good. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So, yeah, it's like practicing the good in all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like things be coming up so that way. I feel like a lot of shit is going to come up so that way it, 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 it ain't no confusion on later down the line. Okay? Like, you're going to be dealing with a lot of shit that's going to come up. A lot of people are going to try to send shit your way. But it's like... Once you send that shit, once you, once it's sent, it's sent, it, it's like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how can I say? Somebody can't tell, somebody can't say something about you that you already, yeah, I'm telling you, you're a real one. Somebody cannot say something about you that you not, you don't have a 1212 on the phone, that you don't have a problem with admitting, or that... You know, you're not ashamed of. It's like somebody maybe wants you to feel some type of way about something in your past or hold on to an illusion from your past. Somebody from your past could be creating an illusion, whether it's about you or about somebody else, about the damn self. That's why I said it's a lot of conflicted energies, but clear your space. You know, keep, 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 keep. <laughs> Keep this shit up for, 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 for out of you, for real. Shit is not cool. I don't be liking that. I don't be liking that. One thing I don't like is me. I feel like I'm all the way a hundred. I'm not gonna lie to nobody about my past or or none of that shit. Okay, my whole thing is like I, I, I personally I like people to give me that respect to let me let you know what's going on okay because see i'm a firm believer that when somebody like me personally if i ask somebody something nine times out of ten i already know okay i'm just confirming either to see if you're gonna lie you know or you may keep it a buck and i get full details i get your side of the story that's cool or you're gonna lie one way or another but nine times out of ten i already know a little bit about whatever it is that i'm asking you so, I just like for people to give me that same respect. I don't like when motherfuckers... And, and I don't mean to make this about me. Because it's really not... I could, I could be speaking for a collective. This could really be how you feeling. But it's like, allow somebody to... You could be like, allow me to give my side or say what it is. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be wanting to talk shit or throw dirt or something from your past. And it's like... Allow this person to come, like, you know, give them the, the floor to talk, you know? But I feel like whoever you are, this is past energy, and it's like you release that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if anybody who, like I said in the beginning, who still want to bring up your past or, or something like that, it's like clear your space from that. Yeah, you got evil eye and bound. I'm telling you, somebody is sending evil eye your way. Somebody wants you to feel bound to a situation or feel bound to them or feel like, 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 oh, if I'm going to deal with this, I might as well deal with that. Hell fucking no. I, one thing, about, I ain't going to never feel like, oh, if I got to deal, I should have hell no. Nope. 
I ain't got to deal with this or that. How about that? The fuck? Hell no. But it's like somebody is definitely wishing ill intent on you. They want you to feel stuck to a situation. Stuck to them. Stuck to an illusion. Whatever the fuck. Okay, you got tarot reading. Catfish. Kicked out. And caught up. Somebody could have got a tarot reading on you. But it's like somebody, I don't, <laughs> even somebody got a tarot on, reading on you and somebody in the situation was a catfish. Whether they, whether they never gave the reader like the full, like some, like, I don't know. This is like some funny shit. Kicked out and caught up. Okay. I'm getting for some of y'all, uh, somebody could have went to a reader and says something but it's like this reader is catching on to like this person is knowing that somebody is on some evil shit or you could be a terror reader and be mindful of, you know taking readings from people or you know just be mindful of your energy because shit don't be right especially if you do personals be mindful of your energy because like, uh, be mindful of people energy. Because something is not right. But somebody's actions is going to catch up to them. Whatever this person is doing is going to catch up to them. Because you are the real one. You're the real deal. So, it's like, you're not hiding who the fuck you are. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to create some sort of altercation around your transformation. They're trying to create problems around your growth. Around what you got growing. What, around what you're trying to, you know... Around your life's transformation, somebody is definitely you. But this romantic thoughts and purify you, I'm telling you, somebody could be doing shit around, you know, this around like anything new you got coming in. Yo, I can't make it up. You got shook, guarded, and manifest. Anything that you trying to fucking manifest into your life, guard that shit with your whole fucking heart. Because the way <laughs> is not funny. It's not funny. Look, you got phased and stuck in the past. The way people try to keep you bound and stuck in the past, okay? The way they working behind the scenes. But that's why this energy is coming up. It's okay. It's cool. People watching you. People watching you. But it's all right. Because I feel like this phase is going to end soon. Like, I don't know. I'm here. Ain't, nothing, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Like, this phase is going to end soon, but I, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, this could be somebody's sign. Like, if you've been feeling it, that energy, that I'm telling you, that conflicted energy, somebody trying to project onto you. Look, you got childish projection meant to be obsessions and signs and symbols coming back out. Somebody is so fucking obsessed with what, you, what you're manifesting in. This person is childish as fuck. And it's like they want to project that on you. That's why it's like that illusion. Like somebody is trying to create an illusion like a motherfucker. I'm like, what is this? Who is this? Let me pull some tarot because who the fuck is this? This a weak ass motherfucker. Who is this? Ew. I'm like, wow, look. Seven of Swords right off the bat. Seven of Swords right off the bat. One thing about me, like, I be feeling that shit. I'm like, what? Like. Get that, you got to get that monkey up off your back, for real. Seven of swords, six of cups. People from your past. People from your past. I'm telling you, somebody do not like... Some, you know what? And the, and the crazy shit is, it be a lot, you know, especially me with the... Look, you got the queen cups. Somebody feel this shit. Somebody feel... Like, somebody feel this shit on an emotional scale. Like, you may not even be emotional, like, crying or none of that. But it's like, you feel that shit so strong. You may feel it, like, in your like in your bones, in your back. Something like that. But what I'm getting is that... 
you know, me personally as a tarot reader on YouTube, on a platform, you know, we speak on a lot of shit. And it's like when you speak on good, so much good happening in a collective life. First of all, 2023 is that year. I just like, so I personally feel like what one, what's meant for you is going to be for you regardless. Regardless. But I will say when you are more aware of the attacks and you could shield yourself better from it, it makes it a whole lot more easier to get through these shits. Because um, just because they say no weapons formed against you will prosper don't mean they won't be formed. People are going to always try to attack you and come after you one way or another, whether it's your finances, whether it's your money, whether it's your career, like your family, whatever it is, somebody's going to, it's always going to be something. And it's like, but as long as you know, know, that's why you really got to know thyself. You know what I'm saying? You can't let people paint illusions or have you feel in some type of way, whether it's shit from your past or shit that ain't even true. You got to know who you are as a person. So that way, when this shit come up, you already know, like, yeah, this ain't even my energy. Let me clear this shit out and keep it fucking pushing. Real shit. This could be a, a water sign doing this too. Look, you got tower coming down. You could be a water sign or this could be a water sign trying to create a tower moment in your life. I feel like somebody is truly upset that you released any, like, you released past hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with this Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Look, Empress at the bottom of the deck with the chariot right behind it. I feel like whoever you are, you be creating tower moments in motherfuckers' lives. And then it's like to see you happy or to see you continue to flourish is like, why not send negative energy away? Not, I'm telling you, the first card out when I pulled this was the evil eye. So it's like, you got to know. You got to know you got an evil eye on you. Somebody somebody is just watching you hard. And, and they, 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 it's like an evil fucking eye. Look, you got the king of cups with the ace of cups. This could definitely be around a love situation. And you feeling like you got to defend yourself or defend who you are to a, a, a person or a counterpart, whether it be you or them. You know what I'm saying? But but just just know, if you've been feeling like a little off or a little, it's that energy, just stay prayed up. I'm not even going to make this too long. Let's get a few more. But I do, yeah, with this, this is definitely a love situation. But this is like, this person is your counterpart. Regardless of how is like, however, like, you know, you are this, like, the real one. You're, like, it, man, seven of cups. Somebody trying to, that's that illusion. Somebody is upset that you fucking walked away and found true happiness. And now that, now you're able to find happiness within yourself. Look, with the ten of swords and the hierophant. Somebody is feeling completely left out in the cold. And here you are getting these blessings. You got the Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Page of Wands. It's like you getting these blessings. You, you It's like you having forward movement. Look, I cannot fucking make it up. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Page of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. See, I feel like whoever you are, you, you could have been in this Five of Pentacles energy, but I feel like you're you got an ace of pentacles now it's like you started pouring into yourself that's what i'm saying somebody want to maybe drag you from your past you know bring up shit from your past when it comes to something new that's coming in this could this don't this, I, i'm getting love with this king of cups queen of cups and then that ace of cups but it doesn't have to be it, this could even be work related where people want to bring up you know how you used to work or how you did something i don't know and it's like you done coming from this five of pentacles to the ace of pentacles you know it's like now you able to give equal give and take and they like your finances is growing you you having means with the three of ones and the page of ones just stability 
things is flourishing in your life. You have this Ten of Pentacles out here. And because you holding back your energy, your space, your time, your love from people from your past, they don't like it. So, of course, they. I'm telling you, they hurt. They hurt. I'm telling you, the Three of Swords, the Fool and the Lovers, this person is hurt. People, fuck, I, I don't even know if it's one person, two person, whoever, take it where it resonates. It's like people from your past in general, they hurt. But it's like, don't don't let somebody not, yeah. With this Two of Swords and this um, Death and Rebirth, it's like somebody, this is that conflicted energy again. It's like you got to really cleanse your space out and know who you are. For real, because you got people who are not happy with what what it is that you got coming in. Look, where to go? Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords. It's like it's that equal give and take is coming. That balance is coming because you healed. You healed. You healed. It's like you 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 walked away and you bossed up. Somebody could have even walked away secretly. You know what I'm saying? People may not know where you at or what you're doing, what you got going on, who you're doing it with. Okay, so it's like they have no choice but to send fucking evil eye your way, send that 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 negative energy your way, cause they don't even know where the fuck you at, and that's the ace of the, the truth. And I don't mean physically. Somebody could know your right your damn address, right door, but it's like where you are mentally, where you are spiritually, where you are emotionally. These people can no longer reach you. Okay, so yes, they are gonna send that energy they that your way. It, it, it is your job to clear your space again. To keep keep it away from you, for real. Look, surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Okay, it's like so. I feel like okay, that's that energy where it's like. Well, you know, I'm not, I'm tired of proving who I am. No, just stand in who you are, okay? It's like you don't have to do too much when you know who you are as a person. But it's like, don't get in this energy where it's like you you stuck because you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can I say? Like, I'm not saying prove yourself, like, but it's like, somebody could be on some I don't give a fuck how nobody feel and it's like at the same time don't feel that way because this is it's all energy okay you got surrender stress it says take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center yeah don't let this shit stress you out I feel like somebody worked hard to get to where they at and it's like don't let don't let this shit don't let this shit get the best of you okay i'm gonna take one more surrender resentment holding on to resentments only poison you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life okay so it's like even with people who may want to hold your past against you or you know whether it's this new person or somebody like you know whatever it is take it where it resonates it's like don't even resent them for it don't don't resent nobody from your past either okay you know that's hard to do when you're trying to move forward when the people just sending shit your way because they don't like that you fucking had the strength to overcome you know whatever it was that you went through but it's like don't don't resent people for the shit that they do to you you know what I'm saying? But it is a lot going on behind the scenes. It Like, people are sending shit your way, you know, trying to create altercations, trying to keep you bound, trying to keep you stuck, trying to have you looked at in a certain type of way, you know. But when you are who you say you are, your energy going to speak for itself always, always, okay? So that is the message that I have for you all. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. And until next time.